Hello, welcome to another exciting discussion about young meteorologists and some tips and some thoughts that uh, I think that I wish I knew when I was growing up, uh, especially starting out my career. Now, we talked a lot about what happens when you fail a class, what happens when you have a bad forecast. What about when you have a great forecast? What should you do? Now, no one ever tells you about this, and it's really important to learn, okay? Because I get it. You know, you're trying to forecast chaos, and you always are going to get the comment of, well, it must be nice to be wrong 50% of the time and keep your job. I'm like, no, I'm not a financial forecaster. That's what they do. What we do actually is held to standard, and everyone knows about it, but I digress. So what happens when you have a great forecast? Well, this is something I had to learn the hard way, okay? And understand, in order to be a forecaster, you have to have an ego because you're going to be wrong a lot, especially when you're starting out. And you're going to have to get, and you're going to get beat up a little bit, um, and you're going to have to rebound. But when you rebound, man, getting that forecast right, getting that snowstorm right, getting that uh, hurricane landfall, you got it down correctly, you're able to, to protect people and do what you can. It's a great feeling. You know, it's like hitting a home run. You know, it's like scoring that touchdown in the Super Bowl. It's just invigorating and you're excited about it. You want to let the world know, hey, I forecasted this and I was dead on to the inch absolutely perfect yeah you might want to hold off on the enthusiasm now i i do get it you know with your friends and family at home you want to do a fist pump you want to celebrate you want to get a football and spike it i get it totally do it okay it's good for you it's good for your psyche you want to have a let's say a nice little drink an adult beverage maybe and say hey celebrate understandable on social media you do not want to do that you what you want to do is say okay the forecast is verified that's it that's it that's all you want to do it took me a while to learn this okay and the reason why is that for every time that you go out saying i'm the best the forecast is the best i'm awesome you are going to set yourself up for a tidal wave of people not being very impressed okay you could think that yourself and trust me it's it's sometimes really good to say hey i did a great job and and and, and revel in that and enjoy that that feeling however okay you really do not want to announce that on on twitter or facebook or any type of social media announce the verification here was the forecast here are the verification totals that's fine, because you're just stating an obvious fact, okay? When you go out there, I see this a lot on Twitter. I'm the best. I was right. I knew about this from weeks out or whatever, whatever stuff. Put Pump the brakes on that, because when you're wrong, and you will be, people remember that, okay? Have, be humble. And when people say, hey, you did a great job, just say, thank you. That's it. That is probably one of the most important things that you could do to increase your following and to uh, increase your your respect in the industry and uh, talking to other meteorologists and stuff like that. Okay? That's what you want to do. Stay humble. Be happy. Celebrate with your friends and family. But always have an even keel when it comes to dealing with successes and failures. And when you do that, trust me, in the long run, it's a lot better for you and you get a lot more respect in the industry. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed this video and I hope everyone, I know everyone's out at AMS 2020. I hope they enjoy it. Have a great time and I will talk to you next week. Have a great day.